Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me again, Matt, or TechOnSite at PitPC.com. I'll show you a quick video on how to use Bubble UPnP. So let's get right into it. So Bubble UPnP is a full-featured UPnP DLNA control point. You can easily play your music, videos, and view your images on your phone or tablet to any DLNA certified devices such as TVs, laptops, desktops, Blu-ray devices or DVD players and so on. Okay. So this software is available um, in Android devices. All you have to do is search Bubble UPnP in Google Play Store and there's a free version and a paid version. The free version is good enough to play your videos and music files but it has certain lim limitations. So, so if you'd like to get the full feature you can um, uh, you can purchase the paid version, which is only about five dollars. Okay. So first of all, what is uh, what is um, DLNA? Uh, DLNA. Uh, it's basically uh, uh, it stands for Digital Living uh, Digital Living Network Alliance. It's basically a uh, technology concept. So you could share multimedia files. From uh, different devices, it's uh, it was developed or established by Sony year 2003, and it became a standard in uh, in uh, multimedia devices nowadays. So, um, how how does it work, or how how can you uh, make use of DLNA? Okay, now DLNA will be much um, useful. Let's say, for example, if you have videos or images on your smartphone or tablet which we know as a smaller screen and let's say if you'd like to share a photo or a video to your friends or relatives at home um, to a larger screen so instead of use it, um, using the old school way of, of um, transferring the files directly to a um, laptop or desktop or or uh, TV. Now you can use DLNA to share uh, to share it to your DLNA uh, devices with a larger screen using uh, uh, DLNA, particularly Bubble UPnP. Or let's say, for example, if um, uh, you have a um, you have a um, um, let's say a picture or a video on your on your desktop or laptop and you'd like to share it into a tablet you can use the bubble UPnP to do that instead of transferring directly to your uh, to your smartphone you can use the bubble UPnP to share those um, videos or images okay so um, so this is the the uh, application which is available in Google Play Store all you have to do is search Bubble UPnP. Um, it will it will uh, display the two version. One is the paid version, and the other one is the uh, free version. So in my case, I've already um, uh, installed the the paid version. Okay. So this is the Bubble UPnP uh, DLNA license. Let me try to open it. So you have four tabs here. Now playing, now playing. Basically, you can um, rewind or forward or play or or pause or even stop the music or video that you are currently playing in um, in your um, um, in your Bubble UPnP. Uh, so that's a very cool uh, feature because. Um, you can do it uh, remotely and this one is the playlist and the library in the library uh, basically you can view the folders that are shared on that uh, particular DLNA uh, device so let's say for example if you've selected your your library as your your laptop whatever 
whatever multimedia files is in your laptop you can view it here in the library uh, section okay and the devices here uh, there are two parts the renderer and the libraries basically the libraries is the the uh, DLNA uh, server so in my case I have one two three I have six uh, devices um, that are DLNA one is a uh, smartphone um, another one is a uh, two or a desktop computer and and another one is a laptop so only five devices let me correct that okay now the renderer is where you can play um, your videos images or or uh, music files okay so as you can see if you have the more uh, the more DLNA uh, devices you have at home or office or anywhere the more DLNA will be useful so not only uh, bubble UPnP okay so renders is basically where you'd like to uh, play your your multimedia files and the libraries is where your multi multimedia files will be coming from okay so in my case let's say I'd like to I'd like to choose uh, the uh, the multimedia my multimedia files coming from my desktop machine. So I selected um, this this one tech on site, which is uh, basically this one. Okay. So this is the. Uh, tech on site that I've selected which is a desktop computer okay let me go back there okay and then um, let's say I'd like to play it on on the TV then um, the next thing is I'll go to library and I can select let's say videos all folders selected folders videos alright so as you can see here these are the videos which is which is on that uh, desktop computer and I, gave, I can play it to the render which I've selected okay so right now it's uh, still currently loading and on the now playing okay so it says here that uh, it's already playing I can um, I can pause stop forward and uh, rewind the the uh, the video file okay so let's say if I stop it would stop and if I choose play it would play again in the renderer which I've selected Okay, let me go back. Okay. So again, um, the render is uh, where you will be playing the the multimedia file. As you can see, um, what is required from from this uh, DLNA certified is the first requirement is. Um, you should be connect your DLNA certified devices should be connected in one network and um, uh, all you have to do is run a uh, if you're using a laptop or a desktop all you need to do is run a, a, a DLNA certified um, uh, software such as um, XBMC 
if you're using a Windows and uh, a Mac computer or in Windows um, Windows machines you can simply run uh, Windows Media Player and um, it doesn't require any configuration even this uh, bubble UPnP it doesn't require any configuration as long as you're on a um, single uh, network connection um, your render and libraries will be automatically uh, detected on uh, bubble UPnP okay so again let's uh, just a quick review the now playing is uh, where you can remotely um, uh, control the the uh, music or video files that, uh, that is currently playing the playlist is um, the the multimedia uh, file that is uh, currently playing the library is uh, where you can uh, browse through the different folders that are shared um, and the devices is where you can select uh, your library which is where the source will be coming from and the renderer is where you will be playing the multimedia file okay so I think uh, that's it uh, it's me again Matt or tech on site at pidpc.com so don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel so you could get updates on videos that I'm regularly uploading every week thank you hey what's up youtube it's me again Matt or tech on site I'm an online seller of computer parts and accessories at www.tpdpc.com. You can look for my items by searching my username, Tech on Site. And this is my YouTube channel. I do unboxing videos and tech reviews. So don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel so you can get updates on videos I'm regularly uploading every week. See ya!